Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotSST and welcome back to the last episode of this Factorio series. Because today, Factorio 2.0 as well as the DLC comes out. So we will delve into that uh, starting from tomorrow. However, that one, that series will be in German. So, let's see where we stand here. Uh, since last time I have added um, the missing uh, yellow production facilities um, and the, the purple ones. So, if we look at our production output, um, Purple, we are above 500 and I have seen it go up to 600 uh, so that's that's our goal 600 of course means uh, 10 science packs per second um, it's rather a question of can we supply enough goods um, here for the uh, yellow signs we have not seen much change um, since we since we added the the additional factories, and that's mainly due to uh, uh, bottlenecks and and shortcomings. So, if we we look here, we can see there are a few white stations, and these ones, those are the problematic ones. These are for petroleum gas. That's why we are down here where I added another refinery and also improved a bit on, on, the, on the existing system. We have here additional beacons so we are not backlogging on, on heavy oil. And then to prevent backlogging on light oil I added two more uh, uh, cracking uh, plants down here that should give us the output that we need and I did that change for this new one here for this one there and also for for that one and with that we should see a more even distribution uh, or even an increase in our output. Uh, I think uh, when it comes to uh, copper and uh, iron ore we are looking good because we do have up here a brand new iron mine but it's maybe a bit too far out for a trains to uh, to go there but if they would need uh, the iron ore that urgently they would surely find their way down there and then down here we have the same thing for uh, copper and also um, no trains coming here so we do have that covered um, and uh, currently the bottleneck is really uh, the, the petroleum uh, but I'm hoping that it is more a question of time until we can push out uh, that um, uh, to, to the stations uh, and even here we can see we have red ones we have blue ones so it's it's getting there I tweaked the schedules of the trains a bit, uh, the ones for petroleum, sulfuric acid as well as lubricant, where I said uh, don't wait too long on the delivery station um, because there we do have this, this condition to enable or disable the station uh, if, the, if the tanks are full but the way they are set up uh, a train can come in uh, and only unload a 
partial of his load and then we're waiting until there is enough sing fluid consumed um, until the unloading can be completed and instead uh, the the train could go on to the to the next station uh, to unload more and this seemed to to help quite a lot uh, because after that uh, we can see here the the orange line that's the the yellow one that took took an uptick there and is now on a par again with purple uh, which is uh, at uh, 580 590 so i think we get there with uh, the factories that we have uh, up to the 600 science packs per minute or 10 SPM science packs per minute and then we can turn our attention to the to the other ones I would expect that uh, space science also makes a jump up because that was also hampered by lack of petroleum and looking now um, we see some auto stations that are white so we have um, stone here we have copper iron we still seem to be good and currently i don't yeah there we have also a coal and if we if we look we have uh, almost 40 uh, coal deliveries because we need plastic everywhere but we only have 12 trains so i think there i can improve things by adding a few more trains especially as as we have seen for copper we have the stations the fields for stone we also have the station and uh, coal uh, we have a field up here that's uh, rarely used so we can or more trains there without uh, hamming the flow we have the resources at least at the moment this roundabout here has been a bit of a bottleneck for our uh, system uh, because through here the whole traffic uh, from the outside in that direction came in and of course also wanted to go out and to alleviate that i have done a bit of reworking so we have a bypass here uh, then the uh, the petrol uh, exit has to loop around here so we don't have that on here and then here of course i added a, a dedicated line for the things that are down here uh, we have copper iron uh, oil and another iron and even here in at this simple junction you can see that there is kind of uh, of a backlog there and it just shows at this point where we need to hold so many resources and have them from far away uh, the system is at its limits for for the throughput uh, and maybe uh, an, a, a setup of uh, one locomotive and two wagons for the ore would have been better i think that would not really make any difference on on the speed uh, as I believe uh, the close to ideal uh, ratio is one locomotive for two wagons. But looking at the, at the production, um, we can see here um, we are there and well, we cannot see. Um, but 
Uh, if we if we look at um, um, the production signs, we see we can produce over uh, 600 uh, per minute. And in the past, there was a stretch where we even had an average of just about 600 uh, for an hour. And I think um, here we have to be a bit more theoretical if we want to achieve the uh, uh, 10 science packs per second by the end of, of this episode. So we know purple, that's good. Um, at least yellow should also be good because uh, they have the same um, uh, crafting speed as, as purple and we have uh, exactly the same amount of assembly machines producing yellow signs. But as we have seen in the past, yellow is always lagging a bit behind. Um, we can see here, yeah, we, we scratch the, the 600 mark. So we will, we will see. I do want to see that going over 600 um, for the whole duration of, uh, of the time of an hour and maybe the, the the struggle we had here was a bit due to uh, the the resource limit and chemical signs that tops out at 500 so we need another factory for that one and then the red signs that's still the the, the basic one I think there we can do something with uh, with uh, upgrading and uh, beaconizing uh, to get that up. And then green signs there we probably will need a, a second a second factory. Um, uh, we are here at 400, so second factory we will be over the the 600. Then space science, that's difficult to judge because it, it, it does jump up and down. And we, I have seen this go up to, is it 400? So at least more constantly. And, and you can see now in this, this back part, we have more rockets shot up than than here so that should still go up i also added another uh, rocket silo to the to the mix but maybe we will one or two more of that and then we do have military science currently we are not producing any military science because uh, the research we are doing does not require it but if we have a look, uh, that one topped out at around 200. So just for, for the sake of it, uh, we probably should add three or two more uh, factories for military science. So that's the plan. A lot of uh, building to do and um, uh yeah i think then we will finish off with the with the completed build um uh, i will walk you through uh, the changes i did up to that point probably the most interesting uh, will be uh, how we get the red signs to the required numbers as you can see, I am here at yet another rocket factory or space science factory. But as you also can see, well, there are just not enough productivity modules to put in everywhere where we want them. 
that's why we are not quite up to the level of production that I want to have. But let's have a quick look at our base. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight factories for space science. And then I added another one for yellow. So we have one yellow more than uh, purple. Um, then down here I added the, the two ones for, uh, for the mili military science. Uh, and then somewhere here in the middle we have one additional for the chemical science the second one for the green one and here uh, I decided instead of pimping the original one with beacons and modules which we do not have enough anyway let's just compact the build a bit more so we can consume the everything that we get out of uh, our smelting array um, and then just have another factory for red science. I think uh, that's the, the, better, the better approach there because it's really basic resources. And uh, as always, we are really limited by the amount of, uh, of stuff we get out of our smelting arrays. So, um, yeah, that's that. So let's have a final look at our production. Um, if we look at, uh, at our research, we can see we have longer periods where we can research. So that means uh, we actually have increased the amount of available sciences that that we have then of course here the the red science the automation science it's the blue line here uh that's really a, a top there with the with the two factories um that i mean even one was above 350 but i don't think we could have improved so well to get it up to uh, to 600 and then we have the the, the yellow signs so let's have a look at that over the, the last 50 hours and we can see at least in theory we can reach the uh, 600 marks especially the the last factory is not yet fully fully beaconed out so there is the potential and then here we saw this with purple we can go uh, 600 and slightly slightly over then the green one easy uh, we reach uh, 800 there um, we're plateauing at the moment at uh, 420 um, i think we just don't don't need much more and then here uh, for chemical science we have three factories and you can see that quite nicely one factory second factory third factory uh, which also is missing some uh, some beacons some modules so but we are over uh, uh, six six hundred there and then space science um, this is a bit difficult to to charge because it, it has these these peaks um, but I 
even before adding the, the, the last two uh, factories, I saw space science going up to, to 500. We are almost there at, at 500. And remember, the last one is not yet fully, fully beaconed out. So maybe we would have needed one, one more factory for space science. Uh, but I think with what we have, it's, it's a bit cutting, cutting close. And with that, I think we will leave this series and uh, starting tomorrow, uh, the new one with uh, the uh, Spaced Out DLC will start, as mentioned in the beginning. Uh, it will be a series in, in German, just for good measure. And uh, there will be more Factorio content in the future in English as well. So hope you enjoyed this series and uh, don't forget to tune in to anything else on the channel. Goodbye!